I've been so restless. Well, yeah, I'm being injured and not swimming. Not swimming, not able to take myself anywhere, not able to drive, only able to do half the things I could do normally. It's been so frustrating. I've come over to Flossie's van, it's called Siren. Um, this is their second van. Of course I have a pirate mug. I haven't been in the ocean since I had my accident. Do you know what I've just realized? What? That because of the whole mud fiasco, we've never actually paddled here yet. No, we haven't. We came to try. Good morning. I have just woken up. It is raining this morning, the first time in a long time. And it's been hot, so this cold, slightly muggy weather is a reprieve. Open face. Ice cream sandwich. I've never eaten an ice cream sandwich before in my life. <laughs> How do we eat them together? I can't, I, teeth. I, I can't, I can't eat my teeth. I'm so cold. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I can't. My teeth are no. too sensitive for the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So, store-bought. Store-bought ice cream sandwiches usually have a soft cookie mm -hmm. and like faker ice cream so that it's like oh and we have good it's like frozen at a warm temperature it's weird we have good quality cookies and good quality ice cream my turn here you go thank you mm. yum, yes. yum 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 looks a little easier I am taking a leaf out of Amanda's book and making my jar lids for all my jars that hang up here. Colorful and bright and they're gonna match. We're gonna spray paint them yellow and I'm very excited. It's very challenging for this shoulder to lift. So I'm doing this as part of my physio rehabilitation. Some tiny gentle screw undoing. <laughs> <laughs> You cackling from the background? Tiny gentle screw. <laughs> Tiny gentle screw. Yes. Oh. Did it! Yay! Uh -huh. The idea is that all of these are going to get painted yellow. There. Yellow. So I am taping off my bottle caps. Oh, this one's greasy. Um, so that I can spray paint them. Some of these have been well used. Bottle caps are all taped off. Screws and lids now we're ready to get put back along up there once they're painted yellow. Yes, I still haven't put these lights in. I'm gonna stack them up. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> okay, so this is the yellow that I prefer to use. Did I have you just throw yourself. <laughs> I have two. It does not look like this, so we'll do a test. Okay. And then you can see if you approve. That's a beautiful color. Maybe you can do one coat and I'll do the other. Okay. Because I want to watch how you do it first. Woohoo! Oh, these are going to look beautiful. Yeah, that's, I'm glad I. Frank! Hi, bud. He's like, there's a wasp over there. Is there a bug or a beetle or a... <gasps> Come on, look over this way. <laughs> look how pretty they look. Oh, 
Much, much later. I think these are dry. So nice to be working on our own projects, but side by side with a friend. And so now I'm going to put these, put these back inside and screw them back up underneath my overhead cabinet right here. They look so nice and thrilled with how they turned out. And they match the rest of my house. There's a little another hint of yellow. Thanks, Amanda. Flossie's van is called Siren. Um, this is their second van. <laughs> We're having smoothie time. <laughs> Yay! Oh, they have a freezer, so. <laughs> We're gonna get some frozen fruit and some mm -hmm. tasty stuff. Watermelon. Yeah. I'll, I'll scoop some watermelon in here. And then there's pomegranate, pineapple, and blueberry. Juice? Oh, mango juice. Oh, I want the pineapple juice that's in there. Pineapple juice. <laughs> if you're not aware, pineapple has uh, powerful anti-inflammatory properties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello, Frank. Of course I have a pirate mug. Woohoo. What a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. I do appreciate it. Just the... straddle Frank. <laughs> he likes to sit in the most awkward position. The middle of the floor. It's his favorite spot. <laughs> oh, that was close. It didn't take as much as that. <laughs> Just brimming smoothies. Injuries can be frustrating, van builds can be all time consuming, the best laid plans can come to naught. Sometimes when you set yourself a deadline and an agenda, sometimes the world conspires against you. In recovering from my injury, I've really been tested. My patience, as somebody who's normally a go-getter, this has really tested my patience. Sometimes it's moments to breathe where you sit and watch the sunset, watch the sun descend that you realize there is another day tomorrow. The sun will rise yet again, an absolute mystery that we take for granted, yet deeply appreciate the confidence that there will be another day tomorrow the turning of the wheel, the sun. <laughs> Do you know what I've just realized? What? That because of the whole mud fiasco, we've never actually paddled here yet. No, we haven't. We came to try. Yeah. It's so freaking it's beautiful. It's so nice and calm and warm right now. Oh, I'm it would in be love amazing to be out on the water. Yeah. Insert flashback to Mud Fiasco here. <laughs> mm. Look at these freaking slidey mud tracks. And we're on the way back, reversing back down. I came a little way too close for comfort.
letting oneself sit with the knowledge that eventually things will get done. Progress is yet being made, even if slowly. To give yourself a moment of graciousness with all the things that you are looking forward to, that you wish for, that you wish to achieve or to experience, that if it is taking a longer time than you had hoped, that you will indeed get there. Your success rate at getting to where you are now is amazing. You've done it. So we can do this together and get there. It will happen in its own time. Amanda, I'm so happy we're here. I've been so restless. I spent a ton of time on the computer in the last 48 hours, 22 days. Well, yeah, I'm being injured and not swimming. Not swimming, not able to take myself anywhere, not able to drive, only able to do half the things I could do normally. It's been so frustrating. I'm getting really, really cabin fever and restless, so it's so super nice to be here with friends at a beautiful beach. And unlike the last time the two of us were here, we're not stuck in mud. I didn't know there was scary roads like that. And here we are. It's very, uh, oh my god, it's so different when it's dry. It's amazing when it's dry. We got this. Yeah, there's no concern. This hill is a different story. Totally different story. They finally put an actual proper sign up here because I'm sure so many people got stuck in the mud. What follows is a brief construction montage. And Amanda has said, take it off, I'll sand it for you. Make it extra smooth. So now I am taking the door off. And Amanda's gonna sand it. It's not quite within my shoulders range of motion to do yet. And I'm very grateful to have friends who are more perfectionist than I. Stirred it. Wish me luck. Turn the fan on to high. Yeah, it's given it such a nice shiny surface and lifted it. It looks so much more similar now to the finished surface of the, these cupboards. All right, now I have to do this side. So here is it, put some light on it, matte. So it is ready for when I put the door back on.
Amanda's dragged me down to the ocean and I've been having a pretty freaking miserable day. You're just short on salt. Short on- You just need more salt in your lungs. Salt in the air, yeah. I mean, cabin fever and uh, like some difficult ungrounding work stuff and not being able to get out and about and uh, yeah. I'm just having a bit of a grump of a day. And so I have a beautiful friend who's brought me to a place that makes me feel better. Which is lucky because an hour ago I was crying. The tide is up! Woo! We have little beach big water. Little beach, big water. <laughs> yes. And I'm already starting to feel better. Sunshine and exercise and ocean. So I'll put my toes in it and it'll be even better. It's almost like I knew what they needed. <laughs> hey, thanks Amanda. I haven't been in the ocean since I had my accident. Amanda has been incessantly teasing me. It's been quite great. I do like not taking myself <laughs> seriously. So these in New Zealand are called jandals, right? So what does that lead to? Um, a beach full of jand. <laughs> or a nice jandy beach. <laughs> so Amanda's taking me to a jandy beach, but this one here is actually Shelly. It's like the lemon balm, there's nettle back there. Yeah. This is such a rich, mm -hmm. biodiverse place. Wet and temperate. Sun from this angle is freaking gorgeous. Yeah. It's just like glistening through the trees. So freaking beautiful. Hi bud. You had a big walk? Was that really good? <sighs> Thanks I so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. This was such a precious adventure and time and as the end of summer, a time I'll never forget. A big thank you to my Patreons for your ongoing support, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I upload next week's video.